Buenos dias and bienvenidos. Welcome to the GAC Group 2015 ITTF World Tour. This is the Spanish Open, part of the major series here in Almeria, Spain. I'm Adam Bobro, and we are getting into the women's single semifinals. First match of the day, Yuka Ishigaki of Japan, the defensive player on screen with short pips on the backhand. World rank number 26 at 25 years old and the number six seed in this tournament will be playing against Korea's Joan Jihee, number 33 in the world, 22 years old and the 13th seed here in this tournament. The left-handed looper should have an exciting match. It's a best of seven match. Here are our officials for the tournament. You had the chance to see Joan Jihee play yesterday as she took down Georgina Poda four games to one in the quarterfinals. Starting off in the main draw, Joan Jihee playing Sarah Denute from Luxembourg, winning 4-1. Then taking down Zhou Eugene from Korea, 4-1. And following that against Hong Kong's Tia Yana, four games to one, an upset, an impressive performance to make it to Georgina Poda. Players filming their matches, recording to make sure that they can watch and study every move, every detail, what they do. A lot of the time when you're playing, you might think you're doing something. Many players at home watching know that the first time they see a video of themselves, they're quite shocked to see what their form looks like, even though it feels just like the pros. Yuka Ishigaki yesterday took down Duhoi Kem of Hong Kong, four games to zero with two deuce games and an 11-9 game, winning 13-11 in the fourth. So close games other than one, but still a 4-0 victory for Yuka Ishigaki. She started off taking down the champion of the Nigeria Open just two weeks ago, Jenny Shao from Portugal. Then after that, beat the Czech, Batsanovska, four games to zero as well. In the first game she lost in the main draw, against Chun Su Yu from Taipei. Four games to one. And that loss. Red or black? Well, it's not Red. the closest. It was 11 6. The black. first game was 17 15. Yuka Ishigaki is a defender, very patient player, impressive stamina, footwork, and leg strength. Defensive players have to be quite able to come rushing back into the table and even more so side to side as they get far from the table. This morning, Yuka Ishigaki was here with her coach practicing her forehand attack, and attacks on both sides really, but especially the forehand. Defensive players need to have the threat that if someone leaves the ball too high, comes in or in a pushing rally, they can quickly turn it around and take the advantage, making sure the attacker doesn't get too comfortable. The pressure is always on to make just the right shot. And the short tips on the backhand, allowing a backhand punch shot and attack from in near the table. Similar racket style to Han Ying, Wu Yang from China. Han Ying, of course, from Germany. Yuto Muramatsu from Japan, using the short tips on the backhand as well. In the other semifinals, Ai Fukuhara, the player of the week for Ask to Throw Anything, is using medium dips on the backhand, inverted rubber on the forehand. We'll be playing against her teammate Sayaka Hirano in the match after this to determine who will be playing the winner of this match in the finals. This tournament is being sponsored with the World Tour by GAC Motor Group, also double happiness for the balls, butterfly for the tables. We've had Garefloor for many of the tournaments. And even Tinsu for some of them. But we're here in Almeria, Spain, a beautiful city on the coast. Had a chance to see some of the beaches, outstanding weather here. Hotels getting filled up with tourists. Spaniards from an hour or two away making a weekend trip. Time. And the majority of the players who haven't gone back into Ichigaki training for the Japan World Championships Korea, enjoying the beaches case. and the sights. Now that they're out of the tournament and only four women left, 
in the women's singles, but it's Yuka Ishigaki who will start us off with the serve in this best of seven. Love all. One, zero. Deep chop floats long on the attack for the first point of the game for Ishigaki. Sees the Zero opening two. on the short side of the table, but the counterattack goes long. Ishigaki keeping plenty of topspin on that forehand loop to take the point. Zero, three. And that's three in a row for Ishigaki to start off. We saw a forehand chop in the middle of that rally there. Going nice and short for Jon Jihee, but still not a lot to do. Inside out forehand, three, way wide one. to the forehand side. The ball gets up, and if it's not kicking at the baseline of the table, that's what's going to happen. Ripping forehand on the backhand side of the table, and Ishigaki takes another point. The chopping style game. Both teams have plenty of choppers. Two, four. Forehand attack that we saw warming up this morning, hour and a half before the match. Gets the first one on, but the second one falls short. Jon Jihee seemed to hire some practice from Lee Jie, Netherlands. Saw her in the practice hall this morning. Three, four. Deceptive serve for an outright point, and it's a one-point game. The power, Four all. a little bit shorter on the table, read the spin well, and Jones steps in and just crushes the ball, creating some trouble for Ishigaki on the backhand. Set up by a slower, spinnier ball, caught from down low under the table. Four, five. Some confusion there on the part of Ishigaki, looking to the umpires for a bit of clarity. Second serve for Ishigaki. Six, four. Not sure if that's a service fault they're calling. Six, five. And some loud applause from the Japanese coach, Takeya Koichi. Takeya Koichi, who was here practicing this morning. Six Short side off. of the table looking tempting. Jon Jihee not able to put it down as they go for their second towel break. After the inside out forehand, the short side of the table, good option. Ishigaki not able to put it over. Counter loop from down low, not an easy forehand shot. Eight, six. And Jion taking the lead back to two points after two service faults in a row, I believe. Right on the hip. Well placed from Jon. 
Ishigaki trying to get around and take it wide to the forehand. Now a three-point lead for Jon Jihee. Six, Just missing ten. wide on the floating chop, and it's four game points for Joan Jihee to take game one. And after fishing, seven counterattacking, chops from both sides, Ishigaki gets through the point. Saves one game point in game one. And after a little seven, bit of side spin on the backhand chop, the game. forehand to the short side goes long, and it's 11-6 for Jones Jihee to take game one over Yuka Ishigaki of Japan. Game two just after this. Yeah, but you were very tough there on one not okay. Second game, June to serve, 0-0. Zero, zero. And we're back for game two. Korean player Jon Jihee has the serve and the lead at one game to zero. 0-1. Zero, Outright point with the chop starting off for Ishigaki. Zero. Deep on the table, a little bit more pace, and it catches the top edge of the racket from Jion. Ishigaki breaking the first two serves to take the first two points. Sometimes Three, a little zero. less backspin on the ball. Makes it jump out a little further, doesn't stay as close to the net. One, three. One, Soft four. spin shot to the middle. Looked heavy and it was blocked into the net. Ishigaki had a 4-1 lead in game one as well. And then three straight points from Joan. 5-1. Three and then actually two more. That's when the service faults came in from 4-4 to 4-6 in game one. But Ishigaki with a stronger lead than she had in game one. Up five points to one with two serves. Six, one. We're seeing less patience from Jion. One, seven. Ishigaki making more spin variation, different depths on the table right now, creating discomfort for Jion Jihee. One, eight. And right now, Ishigaki is running away with this game of eight points to one. 
Jill now has her second serve. Eight, two. Soft spin shot from the forehand side. Ishigaki a little bit far from the table, preparing for the harder hit shot as she left the ball high. Nine, Heavy underspin two. shot, bending away, some side spin on the forehand chop off the inverted rubber. That's a puzzled look. And several shots two, with side ten. spin throughout that rally. About three, one from the forehand down under the table, two from the backhand. And the lack of side spin on the last ball made the shot go wide off the table. Eight game points for Ishigaki. Three, ten. Long kicking served to the forehand for Jones' third point this game. Variation of chops from forehand and backhand game. makes it an 11-3 victory for Ishigaki to tie it up at one game each. Game three just after this. Yeah, yeah, but I think you mean he, he follows a bit, but he drops it before. Third game, Ishigaki and we're back to, to the third game zero, of the zero. women's singles semifinals. Yuka Ishigaki giving her onagaishimasu to the umpires, the crowd, and her opponent before the game. Zero one. Traditional Japanese play in tournaments. Two zero. And the forehand counter spin there, falling a little bit short. Not a lot on it as Joan blocked it back into play. Zero. It seems to be one side of the table that's tough for the players to play on right now. The side that Ishigaki is on right now, both players look quite uncomfortable from that side. One, three. And it's the first point for Ishigaki this game. Four. Half long Four, serves two. to the middle, looped off the table. Ishigaki twiddling the racket after the serve. Many pipped players will do that on their serve so they can control it with spin. Use the inverted side and then quickly turn it back into play to have the inverted on the forehand side. Defensive players love to serve with the backhand, covering the middle of the table. 5-2. Ishigaki really having trouble right now settling into her touch shots. That's a low percentage Six. shot. Even when Ishigaki's on point, has her touch from both sides, that ball is low, spinning, and she tried to play the short side of the table. Three, six. 
Fulder with the serve. Seven, three. Jones staying close to the table, patiently spinning, seeing the opportunity to put the pressure on, keeping Ishigaki far from the table and having trouble right now adjusting to the different spin shots. Eight, three. Long, heavy serve, Three, looks nine. heavier than it is. Ishigaki lifts it up and out. Wiping some sweat and stress away, down six points in the third game. This match has been quite back and forth. Ishigaki winning the last game 11-3, is now down 3-9. Inside out Three forehand to the short side of the table does not work at the second attempt and now it's seven game points against Ishigaki. Ten, four. Soft floating chop deep on the table. Saves her first game point. Now Joan with two opportunities to finish it. Binshaw catches the edge of the table. Ten, Bit of a five. break for Ishigaki. And no applause from the Japanese coach as a polite gesture for the lucky shot. Spin shot Eleven drops five, low to the forehand Sunday. side and it's 11-5 for Joan Jihee to go up 2-1 over Yuka Ishigaki of Japan. Game four coming back just after this. I can agree, she is a bit uh, low, but I think we usually let that go. But if she dropping again, of course, take them then. But Time. And we're back for game four. Joan Jihee leading Joan two games card. to one over Yuka zero, Ishigaki. Zero. Joan Jihee, the Korean player in black with the serve. Game four, love all. One, zero. First point to Jion on the tough side of the table. Ishigaki stretching it out, trying to stay loose through the shoulders. Zero and that's two. two long serves to the forehand, fast and deep that we've seen to start off the point from Jion, and she takes both of the points. Comfortable controlled attacks deep on the table. Ishigaki Zero, making three. her first two attacks, but the last attack in at the body, arm coming just across the front of the chest, not able to bring it back into play. That short arm shot on the forehand side, the counterattack from Ishigaki, has been a low percentage shot for her this match. Top spin served deep to the middle of the table for her first point. Play shot, loop to the short side of the table. Ishigaki looking a bit surprised by the placement. Joan Jihi up four points to one. Four, 
Four. It's been a while since we felt some threat from the forehand attack of Ishigaki Joan backing off the table, setting up a fishing point, but it never got to that. Again, playing against a defensive player, if you show that you're gonna leave it up on the table, give under spin back, they'll come back in for the attack many times. Two, five. It looked like a shot that Ishigaki was planning to put some side spin on. Decided to hit it clean and it went off wide. Three attacks Five, on the forehand. Three. And the third one wins it for Ishigaki, playing the short side of the table. Both Japanese and Korean teams here in the stands supporting their players early in the morning. Inside out forehand goes long for Ishigaki. I think that's the most aggressive use of the short pips we've seen on the backhand. Still not an outright attack. Bit of side spin plays a wide angle to the forehand in the middle of that point. In general, defensive players with short pips on the backhand have the advantage that they can comfortably attack with their short pips more than, say, chopper with long pips. Yet surprisingly, Three, we still haven't seen the short pips used for much up near the table. Joan Jihi keeping it short with her touch shots, keeping it low to the net, not allowing Ishigaki to come in and attack with the backhand. Four, seven. Joan just overshooting to the middle of the table. And if body language is anything, the claps, the applause of the coach on both sides, each coach clapping quite loudly for their players, really trying to pump them up, give them some confidence. Seven, Deceptive five. serve from the backhand, contacted slightly under the ball. Not heavy topspin, I'm sorry, not heavy underspin, just enough to be deceptive. Sometimes even straight side spin will deceive the opponent if it looks like topspin. Now a two point game, Jones still with the lead and two serves. Eight, Forehand five. chop right in at the legs, giving some trouble to Ishigaki. Joan placed well on the attack. Six, Again, in the middle eight. of the table, trouble shot right now for Joan. From middle to middle. It's the shortest part of the table when the ball's hit to the middle first. And the Seven, deep fish eight. on the table, a little bit of a lob right to the baseline with some topspin. And the timeout is called. Joan's going to go talk to her coach. Now, one thing that Joan has not done has been deceptive on when she's going to drop, when she's going to push. It's not an easy thing to do when you're playing a defensive player. You get a heavy underspin shot, you want to bring them back into the table, start the rally over. Take all the spin off the ball and then get a clean shot from early on. After attacking one or two shots against a chop, the ball's loaded with underspin. Very difficult to lift it over the net. But if you're going to do a drop shot against a lob, if you show too early, the opponent's going to be right back in at the table. And just like any good defender, Yuka Ishigaki looking for an opportunity to, <coughs> to attack, to punish a ball that's left a little bit Seven, too high, eight. a little bit too long. Spin shot eight to the goal. backhand corner, but staying in the middle, Ishigaki makes it difficult for Joan to find the wide forehand, and it's tied up. 
It was down 3-7, I believe. Now tied up at eight points each. Nine, eight. And that's Jones' first point since the timeout. The applause of the coach seriously louder and more intense than we've heard from, I think, any coaches this tournament right now. Both sides. Eight, ten. An uncomfortable shot. Ishigaki standing up a little bit straight as the ball's hit into the body. Not able to get under. A little bit flattened into the net. And now it's two game points for Jon Ji Hee of Korea. An incredible Nine, point, Ishigaki ten. off balance with a nasty shot from down near the ground, kicking with topspin and sidespin at the baseline of the table. Hanging in there for several balls that looked like the point was gonna be over. Some sidespin on that chop. Points have been split now since the timeout. Ishigaki, one more game point against her. Go. Top of the net and out ten and it's tied up, we're at deuce. The timeout will only appear to be a good timeout if Joan Ji Hee can take this game. If not, she's going to be tied up, and Ishigaki is going to have the advantage of taking a timeout, get some smart advice from her coach whenever she needs it throughout the match. Very baseline of the table, Ishigaki. Three points in a row, now has a game point to tie it up. We're seeing some more comfortable adjustments from Ishigaki, floating it back with the backhand, varying her spin up at the table. Huge step around forehand, plays the short Ishigaki side of the table, catching game. the edge. That's four straight points for Yuka Ishigaki to come back and win 12-10 over Joan Ji Hee, and we're tied up at two games each. Game five coming back just after this break. Time. And as the players come back for the fifth game in the best of seven match, it's tied up at two games each. Yuka Ishigaki, game, Ishigaki an outstanding third, comeback zero, from down 8-10, four points in a row. Had a little more time talking to the coach. Took more time anyway. One zero. Deep heavy shot on the table to take the point. It's interesting that Joan Ji Hee had such a short conversation with her coach, despite losing the last four points of the game before. Zero two. Ishigaki starting strong, continuing the streak. Six straight points since last game. Including the end of last game anyway, the last four points. Hooking One, side spin two. shot from down below the table goes just long. 
Ishigaki had a kicking shot from down there before in desperation at the end of last game. But this time it's more of a loop shot from down at the ground. Three, a beautiful one. receive on a very difficult serve. Half long, light top spin to the forehand side. Ishigaki turns, uses the short pips, and plays it surprisingly to the forehand side of the table, bending away. That Three, ball is two. loaded with underspin, but no problem as Gion crushes it deep to the backhand court. Just a little bit high, and she pounces all over it. Even at the baseline of the table, impressive power from the Korean player. Three all. Soft spin shot kicks out into the edge of the blade of Ishigaki, and it's tied up at three points each. Now these two have only played once before, and in their history of their one pro tour match, it's Yuka Ishigaki who won it. Four, a little bit off three. the top of the net, but still well placed and good power from Jeon Ji Hee. Jeon Ji Hee again, world rank number 33. Yuka Ishigaki, world rank number 26. Three, five. And that's a side of the table that's been giving trouble to Yuka Ishigaki. I believe every game that's been won so far has been won by the player on the side of the table that Joan is on right now. Three, six. And that would be why we switch at halfway through game seven when it comes up. One side of the table seems to be the winning side. At least it's balanced out. Ishigaki closing it back into a two-point game. Still the more comfortable of the two players appears to be Jeon Ji Hee, in this game anyway. Contacted from below the table, a little bit more difficult for the opponent to see the contact sometimes. Lucky edge ball for Ishigaki, Six, and it's a one-point game. Defensive players will sometimes twiddle. Tough to tell in the lighting, but it looked like she might have taken that with the short pip side of the racket on the forehand for that receive. No. Two Five, points in a row, seven. she's done it. She's twiddled using the short pips on the receive, trying to throw off her opponent on a high toss serve. It's a good opportunity for the defender to twiddle and switch, confuse the opponent. Very rarely does a server toss the ball and then change their plans for spin while the ball's in the air. Stop. Five, Placement eight. maybe, depth of the table maybe. But Gion having a bit of a break now, a bit of a run. Second serve for Ishigaki, down 5-8. Deep heavy six. chop. Looped into the top of the net. Joan up two points and has two serves right now in a good position to take the advantage, to take the lead three games to two. Eight, heavy, heavy seven. chop off the inverted rubber. Early in the rally, it's more difficult off the short pip side of the paddle to put as much spin on the ball. You can see Ishigaki really loading it up side and under on this ball. And John trying to play the short side of the table, difficult shot, now one point lead.
beautiful shot inside out with the forehand to the short side of the table. No chance for Ishigaki to reach that ball. Biggest shot we've seen in a while on the forehand side placement from Jon Jihee. Steps around, sees the opening, leaves the shoulders nice and wide open, makes her shot a bit unpredictable. No chance for Ishigaki to anticipate that placement. Step around forehand, even wider. Looks like it caught a bit of the edge, but mostly top of the table as Ishigaki counters it. She has a second serve now to tie this up. Again, we're at two games each in the fifth. Top spin serve and two and counter eight. loops from the forehand side, but too predictable. Joan seeing it right at the middle and counters it out wide to the forehand side. First block, second one just a little slower. Ishigaki falling back for that shot, not able to keep as much forward motion on it. And not only that, but also giving up her footwork and positioning a little bit by being so upright and falling back on that shot. And now it's two game points for Jeon Jihee. Just and long off the forehand chop. Outstanding stay. play from the Korean player. Hanging in there with the under the table kick shot with a little top spin from Ishigaki, but no problem. It's three games to two for Jeon ji of Korea. Game six back just after this. Time. Six game, June to serve, zero, zero. We are zero. back for game six of the women's singles semifinals. Yuka Ishigaki trailing two games to three. Jeon Jihee from Korea with the serve. Too good One, in near zero. the table. Joan Jihee taking advantage of having Ishigaki way out wide to the forehand side. Recovery shot from near the ground. And it's the counter loop. But with all that energy, it takes longer to recover. Zero, two. And right now, Jeon Jihee is winning two points to zero on the losing side of the table. All games won have been from the side that Ishigaki is on right now. Go! Many forehand zero attacks three. from Ishigaki, stepping around playing less defense, and the timeout is called. It's going to have to be a game plan change for Ishigaki. Timeout. Takea Koichi, the coach for Yuka Ishigaki and the national women's team. It's gonna be chatting a little bit about tactics. Japanese chopper Masato Shiono is a big believer that a defender oh, man, should win points the... playing defense, that the attack should only be there in case of emergency, just to keep the opponent, keep them honest about their shots, not give them any easy points. 
We've seen Ishigaki trying many things. Service mostly from the backhand. Not too much variation, just enough to make it confusing here and there for Jeon Jihee. Many defenders will have, as we saw there, demonstrated by the coach, a backhand receive, often with the short pips side of the racket or whatever pips they're using. Tends to have some pace deep on the table, playing the wide angles to get the attacker out of position. Zero three. Often earning a high ball, a high fourth ball to the defending receiver, but in this case, it's a serve for Yuka Ishigaki. And it's deep with top spin on the table, popped up and out. We'll see how the receive game of Ishigaki has changed. All timeouts used. Three Heavy underspin two. push after a short serve. Long serve and it's two points for the Japanese player right after the timeout. Three points in a row actually after the timeout. Quick towel break and the encouraging claps from the coach in the Korean corner. Three, four. Service air. Never a good time but right now Ishigaki has her back up against the ropes, needs to win this game. Five, three. Looked like sort of a half-efforted shot from one step behind the table on the forehand side for Ishigaki. A bit peculiar after winning three points in a row, coming out pumped up from the timeout. We saw this earlier in the match, some trouble off the short pip side. Chops coming in low to the net, flat. Jillen doing a nice change of placement, more shallow on the table. Three, seven. That's a good shot, but it shouldn't be that much trouble for Ishigaki. She's got to be able to take that ball back with some topspin fishing, something deep on the table with topspin to stay in this point. Goes for a pretty aggressive counter loop, slightly off balance. Now down four points with two serves. Big forehand four, to earn one. It was three in a row for Ishigaki, then four in a row for Jelen. Slight variation on serve here. Eight, four. Not sure what the call was there. It's the second time this game that the point was decided quickly and it appears that Ishigaki gave the ball back. Don't know if it was a fault again. It's been a while since that's happened. Deep on the table with top spin. Five. Jones trying to go inside out to the forehand side, but no luck. Still very curious about the service and what's been happening. Six, eight. On four service there goes long. Off the forehand side of the table, Ishigaki still not out. Down by two though. Well placed by Jeon, right on the right leg. Creating an obstacle for Ishigaki to get out of the way and make the forehand chop. Now a three point lead for the Korean player. Ten, Soft six. hands of Jeon leaves it up on the table and Ishigaki surprised, comes back in, not able to keep it on. It is four match points for Jeon Jihee of Korea.
And the and wide NSX shot off the short bips. Four games and it is Joan Jihi of Korea, 11-6 in game six to move on to the women's singles finals over Yuka Ishigaki of Japan. Don't go anywhere because we've got an exciting semifinals coming up just after this. We need both signature upwards.